Now let's talk about a modification of the fascia or on your dorsum of the digits. This is known as the extensor expansion. So suppose this is the finger with its nail bed and on the side I would like to draw the same finger with its bones. So this is the metacarpal bone with its metacarpophalangeal joint. Then we have the middle phalanx and then we have the most distal phalanx. The dorsal digital expansion is basically a small triangular aponeurosis which basically covers the metacarpophalangeal joint. So this is basically the finger with the skin and I have drawn the bone part of it as well so that we can see what exactly it's covering. So the small triangular aponeurosis is covering the metacarpophalangeal joint. In this triangular aponeurosis, basically, there is insertion of your extensor digitorum muscles. So the dorsal digital expansion is in the digits, these four digits. So extensor digitorum enters the central part of this aponeurosis, the extensor digitorum. Once it enters the aponeurosis and the expansion basically divide into number one, a median slip or the central slip. And then it divides into two collateral slips, the one and two, two collateral slips. And these two collateral slips, basically, first let's talk about the central slip. The central slip goes ahead and gets attached in the middle phalanx, while the collateral slips get attached in the base of the distal phalanx. And these two get attached also joined with each other. From here run the retinacular ligaments that go back to the base of the Eponeurosis. This is the base of the eponeurosis or the base of the triangular area. From here, from the distal phalanx attachment of the collateral slips, run the retinacular ligament that go back to attach to the base of the eponeurosis, hence completing your entire dorsal digital expansion. So this was your dorsal digital expansion or complex basically uh, modification of your deep fascia of your dorsum of the digits. Apart from this, on the posterolateral corners of this expansion, join your Various muscles like the lumbricals basically get inserted here and the interosti get inserted here. So it is important to know that in the index finger on the lateral side joins the first lumbrical and the first dorsal interosseous, and on the, the medial side gets inserted the palmar interosseous, second palmar interosseous muscle. Apart from this in the index finger there is also insertion of the extensor indices tendon that we studied earlier. So it is very important to know which muscles get attached on each finger and also in the digiti minimi finger or the little finger you should know that extensor digiti minimi also bears insertion in the ex extensor expansion. So that's all you need to know about the extensor expansion. Thank you so much for watching.